Y'all remember her? That's black. Me and Big Black are back. Just got through finishing the yard work on my house right there. So, took care of that. Got that work done, so now it's time to play. YouTube, what is going on? This is Chris. Today, we are looking at May the 21st, 2023, of course. Show up my car right there. Like I said right there, I got I got my yard work done. So decided to get out and tell me a little ride. This is only my second ride of the year. And I will let you all know, you know, why this is only my second ride of the year um, one been really busy work work and more work that is the high school that I went to back in the days that is Bryan Station high school School has a bad rep to it, but hey, I came out all right. But uh, that was the new purchase on a home that we had made back uh, last July, and uh, we will talk about that later uh, in the video. Uh, just some of the reasons why you all haven't been getting vlogs from me. I think the last vlog that I did was about 10 months ago. But uh, first off, let me go get some gas in this thing. And uh, easy, buddy. And we will wrap later. Recording. Alrighty, got us some fuel, and I've just seen one of the honorous things. I think I, you know, pretty much I see a lot of it. Uh, I didn't record it, but car that was behind me getting fuel. Two young ladies in the front and two big old barley dudes in the back, and don't you know? The young lady driving had to get out and pump the gas while these two big grown men sit back there and watch her pump the gas. Fellas, we got to do better. But anyway, that house that I showed you all in the beginning of my vlog, that was a uh, new purchase for me and my wife. We uh, purchased that house back in July of 2023, I mean 2022. And, uh, you know, besides work, I get four days off in one month and, you know, trying to purchase a home, which I'm thankful of, but, uh, you know, all we've been doing is trying to, you know, get the house to our liking, to, to, to get it where we want it. Even though the house was completely reno renovated, uh, everything in it's been redone, 
uh, every appliance, uh, furnish unit, everything in it is brand new. So it's like we got a brand new house, but it's not like putting your own personal touch on it to uh, to make it yours. But, uh, you know, that's what I've been doing. Uh, I got some time today, so I thought I'd get out and, you know, get a little ride in. It is about 6 p.m. on this Sunday afternoon, beautiful weather. I think it's only like 70 degrees today in Lexington. But uh, I thought I'd just get out, try to give me a ride in. Uh, I am doing some trial and error on some stuff. I got a new helmet. I have the Simpson Modular Bandit helmet that I had been wanting to purchase for, for uh, several years now. And I did make that purchase on it probably about two months ago. Uh, I did do some test runs on it, but I didn't post them to YouTube. So that's what I'm kind of about doing right now. Been wanting the helmet for a while. Uh, I've heard good reviews on it, uh, but my main thing on it is just basically for the looks. It is a sharp, aggressive helmet. And uh, you know, I, I normally rock HJC. I normally do uh, wear HJC helmets, but I thought I'd give this one a try. And uh, some people say it is a little noisy. Uh, I can't really say it is. It is quieter than my HJC, I will say that. I have been watching a whole lot of videos out there. There is a whole lot of brand new gold wing motor vloggers out there even though i watch you know see if we get away yep i will watch you know any type of motor vlog but i i, I am partial i will say i am partial to the uh gold wing motor vlogs uh speaking of which other people i will watch gb winging it he's purchased him a new bmw 1250 gl gla i believe and i definitely will continue to watch this channel uh, brother Ke craig hainsworth he's purchased him one of those things as well i tell you man y'all too y'all got a brother thinking <laughs> y'all got a brother thinking but congratulations to both of you you know getting what you want getting out there riding, doing what you need to do. I'm going to step on this interstate for a little bit and see where my microphone and my audio sounds like. This helmet, it, it, it has a built-in microphone placement already on it. Uh, It does, it, it, it won't allow you to put the microphone directly in front of your mouth like I do have on the HJC. It's got the big 18 wheeler pulling up on the side of us. So y'all let me know how this is sounding on your end. And, uh, Leave some comments in the comment section on how it sounds. And this is a gorgeous day, I tell you. I think I'm just going to ride on in to uh, Georgetown, Kentucky. It's just, uh, it's just a couple miles out. I think it may be about 15 miles out. And uh, I'll bring it back on in to Lexington. Hope everybody has been doing really good out there. Traffic moving kind of slow. But like I said, y'all tell me how this sounds on your end. 
I really do like this helmet. And I'm going to try to get out more vlogs this year. Rather if it just be, you know, I don't know, one every two weeks. I was contemplating actually uh, maybe shooting some vlogs on my way to work. Um, I'm not really into that and I'm not knocking the ones that do do that but when I'm going to work man I, I just if I ride my bike to, to, to work I want to ride past work <laughs> I'm sure y'all know what I mean but you know that may be, that may be an option for me uh, trying to get some more vlogs out of, out of uh, put on my channel But I'm not going to hold you all up that long. Uh, just wanted to let you know that Christopher Smith and Big Black are back. Uh, some have been asking about us uh, in some of the comments. Like I said, I have been watching and and posting comments to channels and stuff like that. But, but we still are out here. We're doing good. Um, life is good. Everything's good. Life is good. Spikers out over there. Uh, people, be safe out there. Make sure you are being seen. Do whatever you need to do to make yourself visible to others. This past weekend in Lexington, we had a motorcyclist that was rear-ended. They were riding, and it was about 9.45 p.m. at night, and they were rear-ended by a car. Uh, the female rider, they was a married couple. The female passenger, I should say, was killed instantly, and her husband survived, but they think he may be paralyzed from the chest down. So uh, you all, you know, say some prayers for these people uh, and be safe. Hope you all enjoyed this ride. Um, like I said, I'm not going to hold you long. And I will see you all on the next video. And as always, one love. All right.